Hey man, let's check out some intervals. I'm looking, oops, yeah, this is Beginning Blues Book by uh, David Hamburger. And I found a page in here that's pretty interesting. It's a pretty cool book. He's talking about intervals. Let's see if I can find that. Uh, so intervals are just like the space between notes. Usually we relate it to a scale. And uh, he laid some heavy stuff on me here. And yeah, on page 20, intervals. An interval is the distance between two notes. We have already been using intervals to build scales and measure scale degrees. Our basic unit of measurement, the half step, is also called a minor second. A minor second. We have been using major seconds or whole steps. One half step larger than a minor second. My major and minor thirds, sixth and sevenths, and perfect fourths, fifths, and octaves to measure distances from the root to the various degrees of the scale. I'm going to play this stuff for you in a second, so hang on. A perfect or major interval that has been increased by a half step is called augmented. A perfect interval that has been decreased by a half step is called diminished. It is helpful to measure all intervals in half steps. So let's just see what it sounds like. The first thing they have is uh, um, like a unison. So there's no half steps between those. C, C, same note. That's unison. Yikes. Ah. Now we're going to do an augmented unison. So unison is the same. We're going to augment one of those and bring it up. So here's like a C sharp and a C. Sounds awesome. Alright, now we're going to do a minor second, which is the same thing. So, there's a second, we're going to flat that second. Same thing as a <laughs> uh, augmented unison. Now let's do a major second. A C and a D, there's a, a one, there's two half steps between those. Now we'll do an augmented seconds. So we'll raise that uh, second. So it's three half steps from C to uh, D sharp. Um, call that a augmented second. Or you can call it a minor third if you call that an E flat. Which is again three half steps. Same thing. This is confusing. You probably got to read it and practice it. Um, now a perfect. Where are we at? Oh, a major third. There's four half steps. One, two, three, four. Four half steps from C. It's a major third. I talk about those a lot. Um, now if you have five half steps. One, two, three, four, five. That's a perfect fourth, a C and an F. F is a fourth of a C. Um, if we augment that fourth, there's six half steps. And that's, uh, again, an augmented fourth, C and F sharp. Or if we call it C and G flat, it's a diminished fifth. So some of these are enharmonic, you know, the augmented unison and minor second are the same thing. We call that enharmonic. The augmented second and minor third are enharmonic. The augmented fourth and diminished fifth are enharmonic. A perfect fifth is a C and a G, there's seven half steps. Power chord, perfect fifth. It's perfect. If you augment that fifth to a G sharp, there's eight half steps. Or, if you call it an A flat, it's a minor six. I love that. Those are eight half steps from C to the uh, 
minor six. There's a major six, there's nine half steps in there. That's an A note. Uh, if we sharp that six, an A sharp, that's an augmented six. There's ten half steps from C to that uh, A sharp. If you call it a B flat, it's a minor seventh. And that's an, an augmented six and a minor seventh are enharmonic. All right, we're up to our major seventh, which is a, a B. There's 11 half steps from C to B. And um, that's a perfect octave with 12 half steps, C to C. So, if you want, I think this book is way cool. Um, it's $25.99 in the USA. There's a beginning, intermediate, and mastering the blues. And there's online video and audio included. I've got a couple students working out of this book. And uh, it seems to be going okay. Just got to read it and understand it as you can. You're going to get a little frustrated if you've never played a scale before, of course, but and your hands might not do, might not stretch that far. But you know, remember, I'm like seven feet tall. I got giant hands. No, really, I'm four feet. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, man. Consider that book, and thanks for letting me ramble on about intervals. I think it's pretty interesting. And that's a little tiny bit of music theory that you can look up on your own or get the book. See ya, man.